Welcome everyone. My name is Kat Pili, member of the European Parliament for the Dutch Labour Party. I am very pleased to um, to uh, host you together with Kathleen van Bent, my colleague from the Belgian Social Democratic Party, uh, for today's meeting. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize that our green colleague, uh, Judith Sargentini, she was here, but unfortunately she had to leave because we started a little bit later. Uh, and Bart Staas uh, can unfortunately not make it, but they both send you uh, their regards. And this morning an article from the four of us was also published in the Belgian paper, a uh, knock on why we decided to nominate uh, your son, Nasser Zafzafi, for the uh, Human Rights Award in this European Parliament, the Sakharov Prize. This afternoon, after this meeting, uh, we will have a joint uh, meeting of the Foreign Affairs Committee, the Development Committee, and the Human Rights Subcommittee of the European Parliament, where the eight candidates for the Sakharov Prize will be introduced. Um, I'll, I'll be there also uh, together with um, uh, Christine Verjot uh, from the GUE to present uh, the candidacy uh, of uh, Nasser. And we will have a vote in the parliament on the 9th of October. The vote is a secret vote. The only outcome we will know is out of the eight candidates, who will be the top three. And then you don't know who was first, you don't know who was third. Um, that's in order also to protect the people because most of them are human rights defenders who are being nominated. Um, so we very much hope, and I know this was the lobby force sitting around us who actually made this all happen in the last month. Um, we very much hope that uh, perhaps we even uh, can go one step further and uh, nominate him in the top three candidates for the Sakharov Prize. I would like to thank the parents of uh, Nasser, first of all, um, due to sad circumstances. <coughs> unfortunately, uh, we keep on meeting without your son uh, being with you. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy and, and, and pleased you took again the effort to come here to the parliament. I know you will be in The Hague on Saturday for a demonstration, uh, together with also Farida, who is here, Farida <laughs> Abdul. Uh, uh, to, together with the diaspora from Morocco, with those people who still have family or friends uh, living in the Rif, uh, to stand in solidarity, not just with your son, but with all those um, activists, political prisoners who are still in jail, not only in uh, Casablanca, Rabat, but in many places, unfortunately in many prisons all over Morocco. Without further ado, the special thanks today is to the invisible people behind the campaign. <laughs> I know on Facebook many people try to claim their success. <laughs> I've seen it. But uh, you know all very well who was here for months with lists of members of the parliament from all the countries working together uh, to make it happen, what happened today. And now you see, if you organize yourself well, you really uh, can have an impact in this European Parliament. We were actually, you know, at the end, we only had to collect the, the names that you had been lobbying for, for months. Uh, so it's not, our, um, uh, it's not our effort, it's your effort. <laughs> Um, uh, for having done this, and let, now let's not forget to lobby for the final stage. Yes. The day before the vote is a very crucial day. 